My name is Lori Kane. I'm a urogynecologist. Urinary incontinence is when you're leaking urine at, when you don't want to, um, when it's unexpected. Women have about 50% incontinence over age 65. So it's a significant portion of the population are dealing with this. It's very common, but just because it's common, it doesn't mean that you need to put up with it. The problem that I see is patients are coming in and they're changing their lifestyle in order to deal with their incontinence. I see mothers that are no longer running around with their children. But the more social you are, the more active your mind is, and the more you're moving around, the healthier your body is. So we really want to keep people engaged socially as well as physically to keep you younger. I like to individualize the treatment. I want to talk to the patient and see what their lifestyle is like. Some people would like to take medication early. Um, other people would rather avoid medication as long as possible. There are also surgical options that we can do, and we also need to look at the patient's lifestyle to see is it socially the right time for them to do surgery. Um, if, if they have to deal with young children or if it's during school and it's easier for them to do it during the summer, we want to time the surgery appropriately. Your behaviors are a prime um, concern when we're dealing with the bladder. We want to make sure, if you're drinking a lot of fluid and your primary complaint is urinary frequency, we obviously want to decrease the fluid intake. Other things that you're taking in, such as caffeine, alcohol, acidic foods and beverages can also increase your urinary frequency. I often hear patients saying they're going to the bathroom too often when they only go to the bathroom six times a day, which is technically normal. One to two times at night is also technically normal. So we want to actually see how often you're going and also record how much you're drinking. We want to keep it, if you're having frequency, we want to keep it about 48 ounces. We don't want to push fluids, but we also don't want to be dehydrated either. I think it's really important for patients to understand that we individualize every single patient and their care. Individualized care is very important. Also putting into the, uh, into the mix what the social issues are going on with the patient. If we give the patient a treatment plan but it doesn't fit into their lifestyle, it's not going to work.